The SO-71 Blackbird is the world's fastest manned aircraft and has been for the last 44 years. It was designed as a high-speed, high-altitude research and reconnaissance jet. The Blackbird is a marvel of human engineering. It flies at 26 kilometers above the planet's surface, which is high enough to see the Earth's curvature with your own eyes. It's capable of cruising at Mach 3, which is 3,529 kilometers per hour. Yet, yeah, that's three times the speed of sound. It was so fast that engineers had to develop entirely new materials to mitigate the intense conditions induced by such high speeds at such high altitudes. If it didn't have to stop to refuel, an SR-71 could fly around the entire world in just 11.4 hours. And it currently holds the London to LA speed record, with a flight in 1974 taking 3 hours and 47 minutes. SR-71 was built purely as a surveillance plane. There are no weapons on board. It was built to be operated by two pilots. One actually flew the plane while the other operated the surveillance equipment. Because it flew so high and so fast, it was incredibly difficult for enemy radar to detect. The SR-71 Blackbird flew on hundreds of reconnaissance missions in places like Vietnam and Korea providing detailed imagery of areas of interest and never once being shot down. If an enemy missile did somehow manage to lock onto the SR-71, it would simply change direction and fly at full speed away from the missile. Yes, you heard that right, it could outfly missiles. The jet was designed at the Lockheed Skunk Works in secrecy in the late 1950s. Its hybrid propulsion system was developed first, and the rest of the jet was built around that. The engines use a pair of massively upgraded Pratt & Whitney J58 turbojet engines, which off the shelf only provided 17.6% of the thrust needed to reach Mach 3. And as no turbine jet engine can work with supersonic airflow at the inlet, the engineers built a complicated airflow system and a ramjet onto the turbine engine. They created a hybrid propulsion system that enabled the aircraft to take off under its own steam and reach those nausea-inducing speeds. The immense speed of the SR-71 also created another problem, heat. At Mach 3, the titanium skin of the aircraft would exceed 600 degrees Fahrenheit. To combat this, the engineers had to come up with an ingenious solution. Instead of making separate cooling and fuel systems, they created a new super stable fuel that could actually double up as coolant. This special fuel was stored in the body of the aircraft and was only sent to the engines once they had heated past a certain temperature. This also saved weight as there was no need for fuel tanks. And as the SR-71 was so thirsty, adding fuel tanks would have had a major impact on performance. There was one downside though, Due to the expansion and compression from the heat and speed, it leaked quite a bit and was often in for repair just to plug a leak. Because the leaks couldn't ever fully be stopped, the engineers actually devised a system to let people performing checks on the SR-71 know just how much leakage was acceptable. For example, if the tail cone leaked more than 10 drops per minute, that wasn't safe. But if it only leaked 9, absolutely fine, away you go. Each aircraft cost $34 million to build in the 1960s, and just 32 were ever built. It was officially retired in 1998, and work has officially begun on a replacement. So, will the SR-72 be quite as incredible as the SR-71?